Good evening! It is time to once again address some stupidity. Starting with a video I made about Melbourne, joining the Melbourne bandwagon. I made this video a few days ago, and here is a clip from that video. Any fan of the teams outside the eight who don't have a team to support in the finals, back the demons. A fan of the teams outside the eight. Now it is time to look at who actually pays attention to this video. No! Go Cats! Here's one idiot, I'll explain why in a second. This guy did nothing wrong. I'll explain the difference in a second. No Go Cats, there's one. There's one, right? Um, yep, yeah, okay, that's, that's fine, that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I know he said no, but that, that's fine. Because he supports, you know what, I'll, I'll explain in a second. I'm not banning my club. Go Power. There's two. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Okay, Eagles fan. Th that's fine. Geelong fan. No way. That's that, that's free. Uh, that that's free. I'll go with Port fans. That's four. All ports. That's five. Okay. You know what? We'll, we'll we'll get we'll get rid of this guy because I let this guy off as well. No, I let this guy off. Come on, Geelong. He he didn't say no. Here's why they're idiots. All right. There's four people who. Didn't watch the video clearly because I mentioned in the video that it is not aimed at your team if you're in the eight or you're in the finals. If you're in the finals, you made the eight or you just hate Melbourne, it doesn't apply to you. It doesn't apply to you. I've said this in two different videos, but half the comments are Geelong and Port fans saying no. It wasn't aimed at you. It was aimed at people who supported teams not in the finals because they had no one else to support. The video was three minutes. My words. Is it that hard to pay attention for three minutes? I can't, I can't, I cannot be asked sometimes. I, I really cannot be asked. You see, the Collingwood fan saying no is fine. Even though I did ask him, at least he's, you know, he's, he's, he's saying no, that's okay. Because it's a choice. No one's forcing anyone to join this bandwagon. All right? I want people to join the bandwagon, sure. But it's, 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 it's a choice. The, the Collingwood fan saying no, the West Coast Eagles fan saying no, that's completely fine because it was aimed at them. They can answer yes or no. But when your team's in the finals and you're saying no, I'm just like, well, obviously, mates, obviously you're going to support your team. Obviously you're not going to support Melbourne. That's why it wasn't aimed at you because I knew you wouldn't be supporting Melbourne because your team is in the finals. No. You know what? Let's move on to the predictions. That, yeah, that, that, that would be more calming. Lucas says, I think Lions will beat Dogs and Cats beat GWS. Port versus D's in Grand Final. Very good Grand Final prediction. That I think that's very much possible, but uh, uh, Lions beating Dogs, uh, that is wrong. I know it's only a point, but you got it wrong. So you just made the list. Oh, it's Varan again. My bold predictions is that the GWS Giants will be the underdogs and will win the Premiership. You know what's happening. Lions will flog the Bulldogs and GWS will flog <laughs> Geelong. <laughs> uh, good one. Dogs will beat Lions in a shocker. Oh, good start, good start. And GWS will, will, beat, will beat Geelong. No green, no failure. I'm just going to put Brazil on the list. I'm going to say Brazil fan, not all of Brazil. I like Brazil. Okay, okay, okay. You guys need to stop, seriously. There are people who seem to want to try and get on the list because there's no way this is not an attempt to get on the list. Ignore the predictions. Just look at the damn spelling. My semi-finals tips, all right, it should be semi-final. First of all, grammar error. I think that, that was unintentional in fairness. Silong. Silong, C C C Silong beat C W S by 21 points. Big cool. Jimmy Camoren <laughs> will we'll get four points and one behind. Behind. Right. You prefer bees to wasps. And I also I don't know why I said that. Brebane by 28. Bre Brebane. Doggies Fairward. 
Line too bad. Big call. Dogs kick first. Three goals of the game. There is no way this wasn't on purpose. Like, he's clearly trying to get on the list. He has seen episodes where I've put people on the list for grammar errors and spelling errors and, he's, and he thought, you know what? I'll, do, I'll spell the whole thing wrong. He's made it too obvious. He's made it too obvious. This is a clear attempt to get on the list. And for that, I will not entertain it. He will not be on the list because he is an idiot. But he, he should be on the list, but he's not because clearly he's trying to be on the list. There's no way anyone spells this badly. Giants to beat the cats even without Toby. <sighs> well, you know, a lot of people are getting it half right, but you're still getting the other half wrong. And that is just about enough to get you on the list. I saw what you said about Geelong, David, and just so you know, I think you're a very disrespectful person. Right, is he talking about the Geelong videos or, or what? What's, what? What's he specifically talking about? Because I've said a lot of things about Geelong. I've said a lot of things about Geelong. Uh, when I reacted live to the GWS game, I, I said they played some good football. Um, I also said one of my favourite players in the AFL was Paddy Dangerfield. I also really liked Tom Hawkins, um, especially when he scored like six against Port I did last year. I was, I was, over, I was over the moon at the, at the performance. So I, I'm not sure what you're talking about specifically. Which part is disrespectful? I've said negative things, but also positive things. So which part of it is disrespectful? Also, it's a bit of banter as well at the same time. I'm a Hawthorne fan. I don't want to see Geelong win a flag. Is that so disrespectful? I don't know. I don't really know. If they do win the flag, fair enough. I might be annoyed, but fair enough. At least then they've earned it. But as long as they don't win the flag, I'm not going to want them to win it. I, I, I don't know where the disrespect is. But uh, I'm not quite seeing it, to be honest with you. Got four out of four last week myself. Well done. You tipped Brisbane. Well, no longer 100%, mate. Lions to beat the dogs by 68. You spent at least a couple minutes doing this just to get it wrong. You're on the list five times just for that. Here we have an attempt once again to get on the list. Like, this is on purpose. This looks a little weird. Like, I know, I know what they're saying here. Dogs win by one, lions by minus one, but no, no one says this. If you lose by one point, you don't say you lose by minus one. You lost by one. How'd you lose by negative one? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, how, how does that, have, uh, I don't get it. How can you lose by negative one? Wouldn't that make a positive since it's two negatives isn't that like basic mathematics was uh, I mean you can see what they're saying but it's just that no one says it like this <laughs> um, but yeah clearly they're trying to get on the list so we're just going to ignore them we need more people to hate Geelong it makes them stronger so what you're telling me is they're in the prelim because of my videos the influence is crazy 